Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. The next item is approving uh, True North Logic Agreement. Move approval. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we approve True North Logic Agreement. Is there any discussion? Yeah, Mr. I wanna, uh, Mr. Townsend? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, Ms. Bam, I'd, I'd like to talk about this for, for, for a second. We, we touched on this in the uh, work session. Um, this, as I understand it, is sort of our, our comprehensive dis district-wide data system. I, I'd like to, uh, there was a question that came up that I did not know uh, during the work session this morning. Have we had any difficulty with True North Logic del del delivering on products they've, they've sold, sold us in the recent past? Can, can anyone? Answer that question for me. Dr. Barrios is coming forward. Um, currently, we're working on the um, registrate the modules that replace a homegrown system called PD Scheduler. So it's our online course registration, tracking our points, and licensure and certification. So we've been working on that project for quite some time. We really haven't had any difficulty. Part of it is just the uh, number of resource, personal resources, personnel resources to get the system up and running. But we haven't had any problems with that particular module. What we've chosen to do is to, instead of moving forward with the teacher evaluation modules, because of the um, increased need for assessment, we had an opportunity because we thought that was a priority to move forward with the assessment modules instead of the teacher evaluation modules. So we have had conversations and discussion in looking at the True North Logic teacher evaluation modules, but after looking into the system, currently our home system, developed system journey is um, a lot more customizable and has built in some of the requirements through the agreements with PEA, um, which are a little bit more difficult to customize in True North Logic. It's not that it's not able to be done, it's just there's a cost in doing some of those customizations that we already have built into Journey. And because there was a great need for assessment currently and because we've, we realized that IBTP, which is this platform we're using, is going away, and because we've got to get data to those top five schools, we're trying to put a priority in having a data system in place. <coughs> How are those top five schools currently getting da data? So we have a um, homegrown system called Ideas, which is takes data from our Genesis student system and from some of the other um, assessments that are done, and it's kind of a dashboard, but it doesn't give us trend data. It's very difficult to look at multi-year data and multiple sources of data. So it is kind of a dashboard we put in place, but we haven't done a lot of development over the course of the last couple of years because we were looking at a different assessment system. Have we, I'm, and, and forgive, forgive me for this, but th this is a pretty big deal, right? I mean, I mean this, is, this is gonna be our, our lead data set system moving ahead. Dr. Riggs, I hate to put you on, on the spot here. Are you, are you comfortable with this? Would, should we work se se session this a bit more? What? there in the work session. I'm very familiar with uh, Performance Matters. It is a really uh, teacher friendly, it's a real robust system. Uh, so I'm excited about bringing this on. And I think the, the switch that we made out of the teacher evalua evaluation module into this assessment model it, module is a good business decision. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. I know there was some concern uh, with True North Logic be able to deliver on this module because we struggled getting the other one implemented. Performance Matters is good to go. Uh, so we will not have that struggle. So business decision wise, it is a great move to move forward. The other thing that, uh, just to, uh, another thing that I know that's probably back there in your mind uh, leering that we've talked about a little bit. Well, well, so what about the number of assessments and what exactly are we going to do? Uh, you're going to be looking at a recommendation from my office to actually uh, reduce the number of assessments that we're doing within the classroom to make sure that we're doing formative assessments that are more teacher created and teacher driven and performance matters will do this. I want a system that is teacher friendly to the classroom and drives instructions. This will do that. Uh, so uh, w you'll have assurances from my office that we'll be able to implement this. Uh, we will be able to 
replicate or let teachers and students do some practicing of uh, technology enhanced items. I am ecstatic about that. Um, this year, this second semester, we will implement what I call with the coalition of the willing in, a, in third or fourth grade because I think it's important that teachers be able to implement it on the front end uh, in spots where uh, it doesn't interrupt instruction. Uh, and so those are the things that we're going to be looking at as we implement. When we go into next year during the summer where it's not in interrupting instruction, uh, we'll do training with teachers, making sure the people in the trench on the front line know how to utilize it. Uh, when we flip the switch and go live district-wide, uh, it'll be a very teacher-friendly friendly system. And again, we're going to go back and revisit the list of assessments and reduce those greatly uh, to making sure the data that we give students and teachers and parents is, is relevant and meaningful to them. So it's good to go. That's, that's a good answer. Thank okay. You. Thank you. <laughs> I, 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 I take, take, take note, please. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, both of you all. Thank you. If there's no other discussion on that matter, the motion is to approve original agreement with True North Logic. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. The next item is to approve the awarding of the contract to RF Lusa and Sons Sheet Metal Inc. for the revised low bid of $571,250 to replace a portion of 